A stunning number. Last year, more than 93,000 people died from a drug overdose here in the United States, the most ever recorded in a single year. The DEA says fentanyl is a driving force in this sharp increase, and it's being mixed in with counterfeit pills. Tonight, an Eastern Kentucky mother is sharing her story of heartache after her son died from this very situation over the summer. As WKYT's Chad Hedrick explains, this is a crisis spreading throughout the Commonwealth and has police and recovery advocates on high alert. It's our top story at six. Like any proud mom, when Missy Salyers talks about her children, her eyes glisten. I'm so proud of my kids. She treasures the time she spends with them and the memories that they've made. They were just always together, always together. But when Missy talks about her son, Clay Goble, her eyes tear up for more you know, heartbreaking it reasons. It's a phone call. Um, that you, you never think as a, as a parent or you hope you'll never get. On July 19th, Clay died from an overdose. Clay had been here in Ashland um, the weekend prior to this happening and had purchased, for whatever reason, um, a pill from a, a, a person here and it was laced with fentanyl. The DEA says just two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal. Missy believes her son had no idea it was mixed with what he took when he was likely trying to find relief for migraines. He died immediately. Um, you know, he um, had just thrown his sheets in the washer to wash them and went back to lay on his bed and had his, his um, cell phone in his hand and actually texted the person who he had bought this from and said, what did you give me? Something doesn't feel right. And that was the last text that anybody got from him. A counterfeit pill marketed as a legitimate prescription pill and killing unsuspected users. Now this goes beyond an Eastern Kentucky issue. Georgetown police say the same thing is happening here in this community and it's likely happening in yours. If you buy, say a Xanax or a hydrocodone on the street, the chances are now it's, um, it has fentanyl in it. Corey Council is a recovery coach with Georgetown Police. His job is to follow up on overdose calls to help the patient find treatment. He says the calls this year have skyrocketed and the patients are getting younger. One 10 day period, we had three 15 year old females, uh, non fatal overdoses on Percocets. In Georgetown, they've responded to 165 overdoses this year alone, compared to just 78 in 2020. Most have been 26 to 35 year olds, followed by the 18 to 25 age group. It's more of a poisoning than an overdose at that point, because if a kid thinks he's taking a Xanax to help with anxiety and it has fentanyl, you know, it's just. It's deadly. The DEA says these fake pills are being made to look like Percocet, Xanax, Adderall, and other medications. In August and September, agents across the country seized 1.8 million fentanyl laced pills, enough to kill 700,000 Americans. Now, there's no rhyme or reason to how they're putting the pills together, and you know, so it's just like uh, Russian roulette with pills. I always kind of felt that I was educated as far as drugs and what was out there and what to watch for. And this has made me realize how little, you know, that I did know. In August, the DEA launched a national campaign called One Pill Can Kill to address the increase in availability of fentanyl laced fake pills, calling it a public health threat. They also issued a public safety alert in late September. They're getting better in making them look just like the prescription one. Uh, a lot of officers have a book with them from the DEA that they can kind of uh, compare it with. It's a danger that can happen to anyone. It's why Missy is sharing her grief, just hoping it can save a family from the tragedy hers has faced. It, it's really hard for me as a mom, you know, to tell people how my son died because his, the way he died doesn't define who he was. But if it saves a kid, you know, I have to do that. And while Missy is focused on raising awareness about this deadly trend, she's also turning her attention to getting justice for Clay. I think that um, it's very foolish for a drug dealer to underestimate the love that a mother has for their child and that she'll stop at nothing to, to get justice. While she waits for justice, this is where Missy goes to spend time with her son, grieving a life that she says was not finished living. It's hard because I'm the mom of four. Not the moment three. In Ashland, Chad Hedrick, WKYT.